And so here's the point I'm, I'm driving at is the, the similarities between Texas and North Carolina are that people say, when are we going to get legalization? We need cannabis reform. And, and, and undoubtedly we do. But we are very, very good hemp states. And when we step back yeah. and see, well, well, what does that mean? Well, every product, cannabis product that you can buy in Colorado, Oregon, California, um, New York, you can buy the hemp equivalent, legal hemp equivalent in Texas and in North Carolina. And in fact, in, in many cases, the consumer has a lot more in the way of, of variety and options for their mm -hmm. 10 milligram Delta 9 gummy or their THCA flower or whatever it is that they, or their seltzer or their drink that they want. And so people say, Rod, when are we getting legalization? I say, wait a second, I, you know, all cannabis needs to be descheduled on it. But, but step back and look around. You know, I can walk in, in Asheville, North Carolina, where I live, just and I've, I've, one of my sons lives in, um, in Austin, and, and I've done the same thing. And you can buy whatever you want legally. And I think that that's really important. And we talk about the lawmakers. When are they going to get it? They're missing the whole thing. Yeah, and, and, in, in, and in some respects, it's, it, this is kind of good because it's normalizing cannabis for the average consumer. And it's also, and we're going to talk about this a little bit more, so I'll just say this briefly and, and put a pin in it and talk about it later. But it's also allowing small businesses to thrive because what you see in the marijuana industry, particularly in states that are legalizing, legalizing marijuana now, with, with starting with medical programs, is you have a small group of, of corporate, multinational, often, um, um, groups come in and they will they will put a lot of money into funding bills that will allow them, you know, five, ten licenses in a massive state to mm -hmm. control the cannabis market. And very often accompanying that are laws that want to push out the hemp industry so they can control it. And so we're talking about consolidating power with with corporate monopolies, whereas the hemp industry is the exact opposite. It's, you know, grassroots, it's small businesses. If you're in Texas, if you're in North Carolina and you want to grow cannabis, if you want to process it, if you want to retail it, whatever it is, the bar to, to market the, um, is very low, particularly re um, relative to quote unquote marijuana states. And so yeah. in a lot of ways, I think Texas and North Carolina are leading the way. And that's counterintuitive and a lot of people are not um, not fully grasping that, but they're coming around.